my PU2 champions. So your date sheet is finally out and the exams are starting from Feb 28, right? So now the question arises is how much time exactly we have and how much how, like how to utilize this very very crucial time so basically if you see you have november december jan feb okay february month you just think that it is reserved for practice practice and practice jan month you have a lot of practical exams and pre boards so ideally speaking you have just two months that is till december end or till 31st of december to complete your syllabus so in this video i am going to share top five hacks that you can use to complete the syllabus faster okay so you i'll tell you what exactly resources oh sorry yeah, so I'll tell you what resources you need to follow, what steps you need to follow, what routine you need to follow so that you can achieve this. So let's get started and see what we have in today's content. So as I told you, we will be discussing hacks. So the first one is to know where do you stand? How will you know? I'll tell you. Then December countdown calendar, limited and relevant resources, study routine and revi revision for daily and weekly basis. Let's understand first one that is know where you stand. So whatever you have studied till now, your midterm exams are over, unit test one hour is over. So now you will have an idea that where exactly you stand in your preparation, which chapters are done for you, which chapters are not done for you. So what you have to do, please take this very, very seriously. You have to prepare a subject wise list. Okay. And in that, for example, chemistry, okay, subject is chemistry here. So whatever chapters completed means you think that you are confident in that chapter and only revision will work in those chapters. You have to list down those chapters and those chapters which are completely, completely alien for you you don't have any idea or you know some things but still a majority of that is pending you have to note down here okay so like this make two list for every subject okay this will give you a clear picture like how many chapters you need to focus in this third uh, till december 31st okay so i'll give you an example for example my solutions is done okay uh, then kinetics is done uh, coordination is done okay uh, then I have DNF block done right so like this we have the chapters that is done for me at the same time there are certain chapters which is pending for example electrochemistry is pending organic chapters are pending so like this you have to make two list for every subject okay now what you have to do Second thing is to December countdown calendar. So prepare a calendar online, offline, wherever you want. You can use a calendar. Just make a calendar and you have to divide it into eight blocks. Okay. So you can like roughly you can think up till Jan 7 also you can think for example. So roughly two months you have. So or at least seven uh, weeks you have. So divide it and set daily targets because small steps can let, lead to big results okay so set your daily targets and stick the plan near your study table so you have to design your targets in such a way that you are able to complete this list two chapters by 31st of december list two chapters must be done by 31st of december so how will your list look like see you have to put your put your dates here you have to take one topic from list two, okay, which is the pending one. So for these topics that is from list two, you have to dedicate at least because these are completely difficult unknown for you. So two to three hours you need to dedicate here and you can also take you need to take one topic from list one. Otherwise you will forget it right and here you can dedicate one hour just to revise the concepts. Okay, so like this, make a plan for every day and also try to mix two different subjects. Okay, so for example, you are studying this time here physics and chemistry. Okay, next day here you are studying maths and here you are studying physics. Then here you are studying bio and here you are studying maths. So like this, you can make a plan. But remember, list one are those chapters which is already done. Just need to revise, dedicate one hour here. Here, list two are the chapters where you need two to three hours of preparation, completely new chapter. So you have to dedicate your time here more. 
ओके सो लाइक दिस मिक्स टू सब्जेक्ट्स बेसिकली फोकस ऑन द हायर वेट लाइक मेजर सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स बायो एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस इंग्लिश इफ यू आर इजी इट इज इजी फॉर यू मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फील इंग्लिश एज इजी इफ इट इज फॉर यू देन यू कैन कीप इट फॉर सैटरडेज एंड संडेज जस्ट टू रीड इट ओके सो दैट इज वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन योर डिसम्बर कैलेंडर now moving to the next is to use proper resources very very important because if you use here unnecessary resources right this point of time you are wasting your time so to the point relevant and authentic resources is what you need at this point of time so there are three things that you need to do first is to complete the syllabus second is to do question practice third is to write test right so what are the things for that we will see so first of all for concepts okay you strictly 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 follow ncrt i have seen every question paper you won't be getting any question out of this books this are your bible for now so just focus on ncrt for concepts okay now is for question practice okay now for question practice karnataka pu2 board के द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटका पी यू टू बोर्ड हैज ऑलरेडी रिलीज द क्वेश्चन बैंक ओके द लिंक ऑफ दिस पेज विल बी गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन आई हैव ऑल्सो मेड अ डेडिकेटेड वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू डाउनलोड द क्वेश्चन बैंक यू कैन वॉच दैट सो येस यू हैव टू डू क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस ओनली फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन बैंक एज ऑफ नाउ ओके चैप्टर एंड आई टेल यू इन केमिस्ट्री स्पेशली आई हैव सीन द क्वेश्चन बैंक इज सेग्रीगेटेड टॉपिक वाइज सो इफ यू हैव कंप्लीटेड फोर टॉपिक्स टुडे जस्ट गो एंड सॉल्व देयर क्वेश्चंस ओके सो वेयर टू प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन बैंक इट इज ऑलरेडी आउट नाउ यू नीड टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बैंक एटलीस्ट टू टाइम्स बिकॉज आई हैव सीन मिड टर्म पेपर्स प्री बोर्ड पेपर्स लास्ट ईयर पेपर्स डिरेक्ट क्वेश्चन हैव बिन आस्ड फ्रॉम हियर ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन is your test okay so for test what you have to do once you have done your syllabus you need to write test for that what you can do you can follow this model question papers of 2024 and 2020 list 25 and 26 so 20 uh, 5 there were three model papers 26 also there are three model papers so total six papers per subject and you also have board question papers and model answers of 2025 means the actual question paper so almost seven question papers are there for you per subject so if you practice this much also it is more than enough so for test we have this one for question practice we have this one and for concepts we have this one okay i hope the resources are crystal clear please don't deviate from here don't i uh, before i was telling you to follow jivit book and all but now jivit book and all you can follow but after doing this question bank question bank is the first priority at this point of time okay now once this is done once your resources are completed next thing is so i have made this video on uh, how to see the how to get the question bank okay the video is there in the channel please check this video if you haven't downloaded the question bank please download it today itself next the question arises ma'am how to solve this question bank there are so many questions there are no answers how are we going to get the answers so for that do not have to worry we are coming you might have seen our trailer we are coming with something very 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 useful for all of you that will definitely help you to prepare for your board exams so please wait and watch do not get uh, like demotivated or disheartened that you are so many questions are there how we are going to solve relax we are there for you at every step of your preparation okay next moving to yes follow a daily study routine this is super important whatever resources are there whatever questions are there if you don't put your efforts if you don't study then nothing can be done right so first of all you need to study at least okay this is at least i'm saying if you're going for more than this more very good 3 to 4 hours of studying daily study okay this is excluding of all homework everything assignments nothing self study 3 to 4 hours okay next follow pomodoro technique very very important as i told you uh, like uh, you need to cannot study for these long sessions at one go study for 25 minutes take 5 minutes break again study for 5 minutes and 25 minutes and take 5 minutes break so if you if you just complete this cycle your brain will be recharged and your productivity will be higher next is theory plus question solving what is this yes now see 
सपोज आई टोल्ड यू वॉट यू हैव टू टेक टू चैप्टर्स फ्रॉम लिस्ट टू एंड लिस्ट वन ओके लिस्ट टू यू आर सपोज डेडिकेटिंग टू पॉइंट फाइव आवर्स ओके लिस्ट वन यू आर डेडिकेटिंग वन आवर ओके सो इन दिस टू पॉइंट फाइव आवर्स ट्राई टू फिनिश द कॉन्सेप्ट इन टू आवर्स ओके यू मे नॉट कंप्लीट द होल कॉन्सेप्ट इन टू आवर्स बट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कंप्लीटेड फाइव टॉपिक्स और फाइव कॉन्सेप्ट हेयर ओके नाउ जस्ट यूज द अनदर थर्टी मिनिट्स हेयर ओके टू कंप्लीट वॉट टू कंप्लीट द क्वेश्चंस from where you will get the questions from question bank okay just go through questions whichever questions you feel like uh, you are able to solve you know those questions just solve them okay so question bank you have to keep it with yourself that is why i told you to download it today itself and then yes two hours you are revising five topics you did you completed five concepts then do questions from there or else next what you can do you can suppose today you are dev if you think that okay uh, in another 30 minutes you can complete the whole chapter then you can complete the chapter and next day you can use it to solve the questions but yes definitely only reading will not work here question solving plays a very very important role now for the list one topic you just need to revise in 15 to 20 minutes because you have already done this topic right and the next i can say 40 minutes you should focus on question practice okay i hope this is clear now for every chapter do not forget to make short notes this is important because while exam is there the, the you need to only focus on revision and at that time you won't have time to revise from your textbooks and all you have to use this one for revision okay next sundays what you have to do revise whatever you studied the whole week and write mock test okay so mock test you can okay those students who have taken our kc90 crash course they will be getting pu2 test series for free for other students you have i have shown you seven question papers are there per chapter subject you can use that also or else you can randomly pick some questions from question bank and solve it okay next hack 5 which is very very important is to focus on revision very very critical thing so at least spend 30 minutes per day means 15 i can say 15 to 30 minutes to revise whatever you have studied on that particular day okay so i'll just write down here 15 to 20 minutes okay that is also enough next every sunday as i told you you need to write a full revision and a short test for that use flash cards and summary notes for from that you need to revise any particular formula any particular reaction you are not able to remember please prepare a flash cards for them these are really really very very interesting tool to remember things okay then revision not only makes your uh, memory sharper but also stores your information for a longer period of time okay so these are the five things that you need to follow for the next i can say uh, uh, like 60 70 days to complete your syllabus on time and please do not deviate from the resources ncert question bank and your model question papers these three things once this is completed think about something else before that no okay i hope this video was helpful and if you find this video uh, good or it was helpful for you please let me know in the comment section and let's start this challenge to complete the syllabus so please put in comment hashtag topper okay this all has to be done to become topper in the next 60 days so yes let's motivate ourselves let's motivate each other and let's work together towards this goal of getting top marks in your final exams okay all the best my dear children thank you so much